everybody, Mrs. Huot here, and I just wanted to take a minute to get you going on page 22 today, which is the seashells page of your student book. And what I really wanted to just kind of go over again with you, and we did briefly talk about this, about doubling our groups, is if you know your products of four, if you double your fours, you know your multiplication facts for eight. That goes with three, if you know your threes, you can double your threes to know your factors of six, right? So I'm going to start by getting you started with the Claudia made the groups of seashells problem. The only thing is I've changed the number because if I didn't, then I'd basically be doing it for you. But I wanted to give you an example of how to at least begin to attack this problem. So Claudia made four groups there's no of, with five small shells. How many small shells did she use? So it's kind of throwing you off a little bit by talking about the size of the shells, but really when you're when it's talking about the sizes, it just is asking you to be more specific when you're writing out your answer and labeling it. So if I was gonna label it, I'm gonna label it however many I find out she has with small seashells, but you'll see. So if it were me, I would write a number sentence. She made four groups of five shells. Okay. And if I was going to draw this, remember you have your, here would be my four blocks. You don't have to, I'm just giving an example. And I would want it to keep adding five more groups of four. So there's my one, two, three, four, five. Those aren't exactly the most wonderful looking squares, but if we were using our area model, which we are practicing quite a bit, we know this is five and this is four, and we have a total area of 20. So we just solved it. I'm just going to move my five down. So is 20. So if I was going to write my answer, I would put Claudia or she is fine used 20 small seashells. Easy enough, right? So then the next problem, what they're doing is they're doubling. So instead of four groups, she's making, I'm just going to change my number here, but it's actually your problem. They're making eight groups. So what do we know about this? We can actually, I'm going to erase my answer. And I'm just going to add on another area of 20, right? Because four plus four is, oops, four plus four is eight, right? And this is really eight times five, 40. So what am I reviewing? You can double your four to make your eight. You're doubling the area model that you're making, or you're doubling the amount of seashells, okay? And you're gonna practice the same type of problem except instead of five small seashells in each group, she is gonna use six. So that's what you're doing today. You're really just practicing. You're doubling your fours and doubling your threes. So good luck. And if you have any questions, just email me or post a message on Google Classroom. Good luck, bye.